Hi, this is Katara with Blue Notary. And today we're going to look at a full notarization session from sending the invitation to what it will look like when the signer gets it and then seeing how we can complete the session. Now I'm going to be playing both parts. So this is going to be interesting for us. So we're going to start here on our blue notary dashboard as a notary. So I'm going to go to new session. And so the session I want to do today is going to be a remote online notarization. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to get a document to sign. So I'm going to do this from a template. I'm going to choose minor child travel consent form and I'm going to save this as the document. Yeah. Now I'm going to use a primary signer that I've used before, a test signer. So I'm going to use John William Doe. I want the signer to do a knowledge base authentication, a KBA. So I have this selected where they have to answer questions based on things that only they should know. This is going to be a GNW or general notary work notarization. It's going to be a standard session. I'm going to have the session to start right away. And I can choose to invoice the client on my own, or I can have Blue Notary charge them based on whether or not I click this box. So let's say for the sake of this session, I'm going to invoice the client myself. So now I'm going to send this test invitation to my signer. So now this session has been added to my journal. So here it is right on top. So let's see what happens when I join the session. So before I join the session, I get a chance to look at my camera, the sound where it's coming from and the speakers. So now I can join the session. So here in my notary session, I see my camera is active, my sound is active. So I'm looking at the document that I want my signer to fill out and the signer isn't here yet. So what I can do is called pre-tagging. I can put things in right now so that when they do join, the session goes faster. So for example, I can bring the name over of the signer put it here, any pertinent information that needs to be filled out in this document. But for this document, since we're only testing, let's just put where we want to be signed by the signer. So I'm going to bring the signature over, but instead of using the drag and drop, I'm going to use the hotkey, which right next to signature is S. So I'm going to press S on my keyboard and here the signature pane pops up. So I'm going to choose for my signer that I want their signature to be added here. And I'm just going to move it up to where I want them to sign. So now my document is pre-tagged. Now I'm just waiting for my signer to show up. So let's go through what it would look like for our signers when they get invited to the session. So I'm a signer and I've been invited to an online notarization session. So let's click on this email. So here I've been invited to a notary session and I can see exactly what notary I'm working with because their logo is right here. And this logo makes it easy for my signer to know that I'm inviting them. And this is offered with notary pro account with Blue Notary. So it really helps to solidify my brand with my signers.
But in this notarization invitation email, uh, we have a button where they can get started right away. But we also have some information here for the signers, how it works and what they'll need. So it lets them know what process that they're going to go through when they're joining a notary session. So they're going to have to upload the document if they haven't already. They're going to have to meet with me via audio video. And they're also going to need a few things to verify who they are. They're going to need their government issue ID and they're also going to make sure that their system is ready to do this notarization. And it lets them know it takes about 15 minutes or less to do this. So as a signer, I wanna get started and get my document signed. I'm going to press this get started button. So as a signer, I'm seeing something similar as what it looks like when I'm a notary. I can see my camera, where my sound is coming from, where it's going through. But I also know what notary I'm meeting because here is the notary logo over here. So it lets me have confidence in who I am meeting with for this session, as well as the session ID. So as a signer, I think I'm ready to join the session. So I'm going to click this button here. So as a signer, I'm now in the session and I can see my notary and my own picture, which both happen to be me right now. But more importantly, I need to prove who I am so I can complete this notarization. So for this knowledge base authentication, first, I'm going to have to put in my first name, um, if I have a middle name, last name, date of birth, and the last four of my social security number and I'm going to press next. I also need to add my residential address details. And after I've entered that, I can press continue. So part of the knowledge base authentication is answering questions that I would know as a signer. So we're going to go through this flow and answer these knowledge base questions. Now, after I've answered the knowledge-based questions, I need to verify my identity with a document like my driver's license or a passport. So let's begin verifying. So I have to choose what country my government ID is from. So I'm going to choose the United States. So I can use any of these documents, but for this, let's try driver license. And so as a signer, I can take a picture of my document or I can upload a photo. For this, I'm going to upload a photo. So I'm going to go to my documents and take a picture of my license and I want to use this photo. And I'm going to also take a picture of the back of my license. and use this photo. And Blue Notary will process that ID. And I'm done for verifying my identity. So now as a signer, I am in the session. So now let's go back to looking at what it would look like as a notary doing this session. So. I am in the session now, my signer is in the session. Let's see what their ID looks like. So I have a opportunity to go and see what they have put in. And look, my signer has passed the KBA authentication and they have passed the ID verification and they're waiting for their document to be signed. So I'm going to close this. And I want to make sure I do things quickly and efficiently. I'm going to look at the document, make sure that there are no blank spots where there doesn't need to be any. And one of the things that is very important is knowing what I'm going to say to the signer. So Blue Notary does have a script for live notarizations. 
And these are the things that I'm going to say to the signer during the session. I'm going to let them know what my name is. I'm a commission remote online notary in the state that I am in. And I'm going to say all of these things to the signer in the session, making sure that everything is done correctly. And so now that I've finished saying the live notary script to the signer, we can commence signing. So here, I'm going to switch back over to the signer portion and ask the signer to sign. So here on the signer page, they can go down and you can see that there's a green box highlighted for the signer to complete the session. They can choose a signature that they've done already, or they can draw, type, or upload another signature. So I'm going to adopt this signature and now the signer has signed. Let's jump over to the notary portion and see how I can complete it as a notary. So here I'm back on the notary side and I see my signer has signed. So now I can add my signature. I'm going to adopt my notary signature. And I'm also going to use the hotkey for seal. So I'm just going to type N on my keyboard. And here is my notary seal. So with my signature, with my seal, and now the signer has signed, I can now complete the session. The session is completed. Let's go and see how it looks to the signer. The notary has completed the session. And look, the notarization is completed. So that is the entire flow from invitation to completed signing from both the notary's perspective and the signer's perspective. I hope that helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.